Food delivery startup Postmates expanding to another 100 cities and announcing an extension of their partnership with Chipotle to an additional 300 locations and reducing delivery fees. Bastian Lehman is the CEO of Postmates and joins us now. Bastian, great to have you back on the show. Thank you so much for having me and uh, good morning. Good morning. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this expansion because uh, I think as all things in logistics, I would imagine it's taken um, some sizable capital and resources to be able to expand the way you're announcing uh, you're doing so today. Lay that out for us. You know, we're launching in 130 new cities today, and uh, Salt Lake City is among them. You have Detroit among them. You have Charleston, South Carolina among them. So we're really trying to capture more of the suburban markets and uh, less just uh, top coastal urban markets that we have done in the past. And uh, we believe it's a beautiful thing for our customers. We're now serving one in two U.S. households. I would imagine you've quantified the opportunity in terms of those suburban markets. How big is it? You know, we believe it, it could add about a third in total volume uh, in the next couple of years to the overall volume on the platform. Um, so it's significant. Bastion, you guys and DoorDash are both doing these big pushes into what some might consider second and third tier cities. Uh, I'd be concerned for investors' sake, uh, is there enough running room for both of you long term to operate there profitably or do you think there's going to be a shakeout? You know, we look at our unit economics very carefully and uh, when you look at Postmates as a company today, the majority of our markets that we're operating in are profitable. We wanted to wait for this moment to launch new markets, and we're fairly confident that, you know, with a mixture of local merchants, large partnerships, you know, it's not just Chipotle, it is Walmart. We're working with Panera Bread, we're working with Shake Shack. You see a lot of the top brands gravitating towards Postmates. That helps us with volume in smaller markets, and that helps us being profitable there as well. I want to dig into that a little bit further, Bastian, because uh, sort of looking at this broader landscape just today, you had Walmart announcing same-day delivery in New York City for Jet.com. They're going to be using uh, the company they acquired, Parcel, to do that. Just a couple weeks ago, you had Amazon unveiling its own last-mile delivery service. Looking at this broader ecosystem, how is Postmates differentiating itself, and is there room for everyone? Yeah. I believe it's going to be a tremendously large market. Uh, just for food delivery alone, I believe we're looking at a trillion dollar market pretty soon. And you currently have different brands, different companies trying out different things. We've been in the market for over six years. We've been a leader in many of the markets we're operating in. We have over 50% market share in LA. We own the millennial customer and we're very, very excited about efforts from our competitors to grow the mind share and to just grow the awareness of the last mile delivery and on-demand delivery in general. I believe that at some point you will have some M&As down the road, but it is too early at this point. All the companies in the space are growing and we're growing extremely fast amongst them. What happens to accuracy of delivery and timeliness with all of this expansion? Sarah Eisen uh, is mad at you guys. She says Postmates <laughs> hasn't been good for her. My deliveries have shown up for the most part just fine. But what happens? Look, uh, it, obviously, it's a slightly different challenge to scale in a suburban versus an urban area. Uh, if you look at New York, you clearly have different challenges than you may have in uh, Lexington, Virginia. But uh, uh, nonetheless, you know, you can be insured as a customer at, at the checkout, you see a predicted delivery time. We're doing very, very good in the high 90 percentile accuracy to sticking to these times. And, you know, personally, I'm very proud of our fulfillment team that is working now with 170,000 Postmates across the country to make sure that most deliveries arrive on time and in top quality. Bastian, we'll leave it there. Thanks for joining us today with this news. Bastian Lehman, the CEO of Postmates. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.